All right, Happy New Year, everyone, or Merry New Year, or whatever it is, whatever type of terms. We need a woke term for New Year, like uh, feel good, New Year-ness, maybe something like that. Now, what are my predictions for the year 2024? It's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be worse than 2023, and we're going to see a combination of what happened between 2020 and 2023. Now, I just finished up the newsletter that we send out to our Patreon members every month. They get the newsletter plus, uh, I guess it doesn't want to look at it there, plus a couple of other things in that. We discuss what we see that month, maybe what the uh, major talking points around our world are at any given time. We look to the future and we start to get ready for it. I don't want to read this verbatim because our Patreon members, they support our channel and so we send it out to them. But I do want to give you some of the information. It is subject to change because I might make changes before the final version of this goes out. But here's what I have so far. A couple of major things are going to happen in 2024. We already know the FBI warned government entities. They warned the police stations. The police stations started getting their people in riot gear. We already have riots in New York and California, but where is this on the news? It doesn't fit their agenda, so it doesn't get on the news very often. And yet, and yet, we still have we still police, have police geared, geared up to up beat to be the living S out of anybody, out of anybody, who, anybody who stands, stands up, against, up them. against them. I'm not for I'm not what the rioters, rioters are out there standing, out there standing in the streets, streets for. I'm not against, I'm not against, against anybody, anybody in particular, particular except those that harm innocent individuals. individuals. What I am I for is your ability, ability to protect yourself and yourself remain aware of how bad things how bad are going to be. So civil so unrest, civil that's going to be a major be a punching major ticket, punch ticket punch in 2024. 2024. We are we probably are going, to, going see to see it. We already we are already seeing are. it, aren't we? So I can't say we're probably going to see it. We already have civil unrest inside of our country. But what I do believe that we will see is a little bit more of an organized, maybe even a collected bit of unrest. Rest. Now, this comes this with its comes own with caveats, caveats and its own, own dangers because, because anytime you have, you have social media social driven, driven disorganization, disorganization uh, or disorganized, disorganized unrest, unrest, you have the propensity for danger in your area. Now, a, an outlet might go tell their people, and let me tell you, we have our borders wide open, so they're just out there feeding these people to get into your streets to get the kind of change maybe you don't want. So say you have an outlet that says, well, you should go protest over here, and what they do is they whisper through organized, uh, uh, disorganized leaders. And so they say, hey, you should go protest here for this cause. And it's real easy to get people all fired up over an agenda. Look at Israel, look at Ukraine, look at Russia, soon it's going to be Taiwan. It's real easy to get them very fired up. They will do what you tell them to do, especially if the goal is something that they want at the end of the day, like change. And so they're going to so tell, they're gonna them, tell to them to go organize, organize these, these bouts of protest or bouts of unrest. unrest. The problem is when it comes when to it your comes city to your and city what you do about it. So, about it. so having a radio, having, radio, having something having to remain aware, aware definitely, definitely using social, social media, media, definitely, definitely not, believing not believing everything, everything verbatim, verbatim that you hear on mainstream media. media. Do a little bit, do a little of, digging, bit of digging, a little bit of information gathering yourself because you might say, hey, Wife, I don't want you to go to work today, or maybe don't go that way, go this way, because there's maybe going to be some protest there, or you know what, we've all got the sniffles anyways, let's just call out sick today, let's keep the kids home, it would just be better to watch what is happening rather than taking chances. So 2024 needs to be about not taking as many chances. Order online when you can. Why? Well, because they make you check out your own stuff anyways, and they don't pay you for it. They hike up the prices. You have to check it out, and that they have the audacity as you walk out the door to say, Sir, did you pay for that? No, you bigwit. I just checked it out myself. Of course I paid for it. But... But here's, here's what they want. What they want. So, civil so civil unrest, unrest. The, FBI the FBI has been provided with information that, that and they are warning are other agencies that 2024, that 2024 will see a heightened, heightened amount, of amount of civil disruptions and a number, and a number of, civil of civil disobedient, disobedient actions, actions in this, in this year. year. Now, they're saying now they're that saying there's, that going, there's to going to be lone, lone alone, alone people. people. They call them they call lone wolves, acted or acting individuals. Part of a larger, a larger agenda, agenda, but acting, but acting on, their on their own. They've been given they've information, given they've information, been fed, they've ideas, fed ideas, pushed to, pushed do, to certain do certain things. things. Now, what happens now what when one of, these one of these lone individuals, individuals does, something does something major? major. 
So that's what they're talking about, the scale of which we don't know yet, but it is going to be concerning. A nuclear crisis. Every week it seems like Russia's going to do this with nukes. Belarus now has this many nukes. North Korea is starting up this nuclear uh, plant. Taiwan is going to, uh, you know, maybe strike China's nuclear facilities. We have Iran and their nuclear enrichment program. Well, it makes sense that each one of us needs to get better prepared in the uh, rega- in regard to nuclear fallout. Now, what do you do for nuclear fallout? Well, the first thing is you need to know that it's actually there. And so some sort of Geiger counter, they're inexpensive on eBay, maybe some sort of nuke alert. You'll at least hear the tick and the beeps and the whoops as you you are exposed. exposed. And then you can say, well, I'm gonna go where the whoops and the beeps are a little bit less. less. If you've got a Geiger counter, counter, you can go in the opposite direction. You know what's going on. You take shelter. Make sure you have enough food. First of all, make sure you have enough water. People will kill for water before they'll kill for food. That doesn't mean hunger and thirst aren't reacted to differently in our society. No one even thinks about water. It's the single most important thing that you're going to need most likely after, you know, if you've got holes to patch up. But no one even considers it because we're so used to having it available all the time. So nuclear nuclear crisis crisis events might be a conflict, might be a a weapons weapons, uh, release. release. What about biohazards? biohazards? And here I get into the the nitty gritty. We already, already, right now, now, have have bio bio labs, labs, weaponized weaponized laboratories laboratories inside of the the USA. USA. They might be in your your state. state. They could be in your your county. county. They've caught caught one. one. Now they believe that there are are potentially potentially dozens dozens spread across 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 the USA and Canada. So if you've got abandoned buildings in your area, guess what could be inside? Maybe a little bit of highly pathogenic, easy to spread AIDS virus, you know, HIV. Well, maybe we we maybe they uh, put together a little a little cocktail mixture of some, uh, you know, uh, Ebola. So your eyeballs start bleeding, your nostril membranes break down, and you start bleeding out your nose, and your teeth fall out, and all these other bad things with some other, you know, uh, maybe the common flu. Make it easy to spread spread. where the eyeballs bled. bled. Who knows? knows? But we do know know that biohazards biohazards are going to exist exist in 2024. 2024. Russia is already out there saying, look who's the real problem here. They say it's America. They say they've already taken out the bio labs. They say they already found the agenda. China has come out and said that America must be stopped in its bio research, which is kind of funny, isn't it? Ironic, I would say, ironic, because where was our last, uh, you know, biohazard originating? Sure, it, it had a lot of, uh, you know, ties, a lot of shoelaces tied to the U.S. government, but where did it come from? Where did it go? It went everywhere. So biohazards. So even if they release, and I talk about this, you know, if they release, because releasing something, last one was what, 1%, you know, on average. Anytime you get over 5% fatality, actual fatality, people are going to lose it. But what they're working on is 30 to 60, 33 to 60% fatality. That means every household gets touched by a death from a spreadable disease that takes people out in a couple of days or weeks. Not good. I'm not looking forward to that when it happens. The economy. I talk about shambles, right? So here's the definition of shambles. It's a noun. It has multiple interpretations. The first one is a place of mass slaughter. The second one, a scene of great destruction. The third one, a scene of great disorder. And the fourth, great confusion or a mess. So when we look at our economy right now, I think it's easy to see that it is in shambles. Economists across the board. This started back in 2020 and 2021. You remember back when the Federal Reserve said that inflation was going to be temporary? Just a couple of weeks. Don't worry, it's going to come back down. Well, even back then, the people who knew were delivering information to the British government that said we wouldn't see a normalization until the year 2025. That means even right now, at their best guess, 
if everything goes everything perfect, goes perfect the, way the way that they saw it, saw it we have a we whole nother year to year two years, years because December 31st, 31st of 2025, 2025 is still 2025. We possibly, we possibly have, possibly have another, another two years, years of what they, what saw, they coming. saw coming. Now you throw in some black swan swan events, events, a little bit of, uh, you know, the good old contagious contagious Ebola, Ebola. you throw in a nuclear nuclear event, event. you throw in some some other governments governments folding, folding, some world power power issues, issues. things get bad bad quick. quick. Then we have conflict. conflict. That's a tricky one, one, isn't it? it? China, Taiwan, Taiwan. Russia, Russia, NATO, NATO. the Indo-Pacific, Israel, the Middle East. We already have conflicts Conflicts all across the world. world. (coughs) We already have have more televised televised bombs bombs shattering shattering homes, shattering shattering lives. lives. We already have have more more televised televised footage, footage, filmed footage footage. of trench warfare warfare than we ever had in our previous previous world war because of the ability to to get it. You know, these guys are wearing wearing GoPros GoPros as they go in these nasty, nasty, mucky, trench foot trenches to kill other people that are each fighting for a cause they're told to. These things are These happening, things are happening right, now. right now, but it's going to it's balloon. Going to balloon. There's, only There's only one thing that, thing that stops, stops conflict. conflict. Either, Either somebody, somebody wins, wins because they've because killed, everyone, killed else, everyone else, or, or somebody, somebody tires. tires. They both, they both tire, tire of the blood, blood and the guts, guts and the gore and everything, and everything else, else until, until one, one of the sides side says, hey, let's, let's, let's make a let's deal. Let's figure this out. And then they figure it out, they stroke a deal. It could be a deal like they just proposed on new borders. Could be a deal for nuclear disarmament of Russia if things go that bad. But Russia has always said, if things are going that bad, they're going to pull the trigger. You'll see the mushroom clouds. Not good at all. So we will likely see continued conflict this year. Might see some might biohazard, see some biohazard issues. issues. The economy, the economy is definitely, definitely not going to be in a... We're already, we're already seeing it across the board. The board. People, are, People losing are losing 40% on the cars they, they bought a couple of, of weeks, weeks, a couple of months ago. Months ago. When they, are lo- when they, are, when they look when at their situation and they say, <clears throat> you know, hey, I'm underwater. Let me get out of this note. They already lost 40%. Excuse me. Houses in major areas, major metropolitan areas are down 50%. And then commercial real estate. That's going to be the big one. These banks already have soon to be realized losses. And the thing is, banking institutions run on confidence because they're like, hey, I've got enough. I'll figure it out. And the other banks are just like, all right, dude, we got you. And they're just passing the money around. They get some from the Fed. They hide it over here. They put a little here. How about this pocket here? And then when they're asked to show their ability to repay, they're like, I got it. No problem. Everyone else like, okay, bro. And so these banks, once the first one catches the smell of smoke, and then all of them get scared. And then they all begin begin starting to be called to the carpet. It's over, folks. They've lied, they've been deceitful, they've hidden things, they've been secretive, all while you are punished. And then that folds right back in to civil unrest. So that's what I see happening for the great year of 2024 that we're going to experience. I'm also going to watch out for more criminal activity. Let's face it, as people get desperate, the criminal is going to crim, right? Right. It's just, it's just <coughs> in the cards. So what do you, so do? What do, you do? Smartest thing, Smartest you, can do you can do is be aware of it, aware of it acknowledge, acknowledge it, it, don't let it don't run, let it your, run life. your life, don't, don't let it don't ruin, let it your, ruin life. your life, and it can run, your, can run life your life by, by making your whole, life, whole everything life, everything life everything about that, and that's why we have that adage. Do your chores, that's like going to work. Doing your dishes, making sure you know the shave is up to par. Brushing your teeth, Brushing your teeth. Eating, healthy, eating healthy, exercising, those are your chores. Are your chores. Do your preps, preps. stocking the Stock pantry, the pan. getting to the getting range, to the learning, range. How, to learning how to hunt and fish, fish. learning how to learning garden, how to guard. and then, and then have, have fun. fun. Repeat that cycle, Repeat that cycle. Maybe, every day. maybe every day, maybe every time every you time see you things see and things you're like, oh man, this oh, is man, getting this too, is bad. too bad, what can I do? What can I do? Well, do a little chore, do a little prep, and then go have fun. So that's how you not let it it ruin your life life. or run your life. life. 
Don't let it do, Don't either. Let it do either. And, and as you're aware, as you're aware of, of it, it, you'll know, you'll know when, to act. when to act. Thank you guys for Thank being, guys here, being with here with us today and, today and every day. Every Full day. spectrum Full survival spectrum only, on only on YouTube. Those are just those my are just predictions my for this year. It's going to be hairy. It's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to see smoke everywhere. There are going to be a lot of mirrors. So we'll see smoke. We'll see the mirrors. They're going to try and hide what's really happening. There's definitely, There's definitely a geopolitical, a geopolitical agenda, agenda at, play. at play. There's a government-driven government driven agenda, agenda at play. At play. There's a left There's versus a left right versus agenda, right at, agenda play. at play. Let's be, Let's be smart, smart about every about move, every that, we move that we make so that we're not so just we're not another just cog, cog in their machine. Thank you guys for Thank being here with us. Full Spectrum full Survival full only on YouTube. YouTube. If you want, if you to, want get to get the newsletter, newsletter plus, plus the survival, survival cards, cards that we mail out every month, patreon.com forward slash full spectrum survival. It's $10 a month. Everything else Everything went, else through, went inflation. through inflation. I soaked those, I soaked those costs. When, they, when it went up, when it went up Kelly, Kelly was like, Kelly was we're, like we're, we're getting to where we're hardly even making ends meet with the production of this. I don't care. I don't care. It was something we put together 86 86 months months ago. ago. We've done it every month month since. I soaked the change in costs. costs. I'll do that until until I'm negative. negative. Join us there. there. Support our our family. family. Support our channel. channel. And you get something in return. return. Most of all, everyone, everyone, do your chores. chores, Do your preps. preps, Have fun. fun, And stay stay safe.